hello welcome to my youtube channel whereby we are going to teach you how to program or develop chat room in c sharp using visual studio or we can use sharp developer but mainly i specified in using visual studio because it's large and you can add more plugins so I'm going to show you how I made the chat room. You can privately chat and publicly chat. So you can chat via network. So let's go. Let's dig in. Taking too long. Mm. So I'm going to show you how I created it. First of all, I made a solution. I created the solution called Tell Me. Then, under the solution, I made classes for Tell Me client and classes for Tell Me server. So, we are going to start with the server side, which is initializing right now. Let's wait for it. It's a big, it's a big project. So, guys. I'm going to show you I'm going to take you through the codes and through the design so that you can see how you can make your project so let me take you through the server side before I take you to the client side that uh, the server side is here I'm, uh, I don't know why it's loading too slow but let's dig in so this is the server side as you see this is the project cs cs project when you when you are creating a when you're creating a form this this project comes so i named it i named it after creating this form a new windows form so the windows form here is the same cs project behind so we are going to dig in within let's start with the server design so with the server design i used material design so it is this is windows form so i used material design to put these designs of is it blue gray yeah blue gray yeah, and the, the buttons the buttons as you see let me check through the buttons this one i named it to start a server nothing else unless to give it a name i gave it a, i gave it the color gray style dark style gray then the name is button start then this button it is button server stop so i gave it the same color for dark salt gray and if, if that is to pop, pop out then i changed even how much which is common samos common sans ms comic sam ms and uh, the text on over it is server stop stop server yeah that's all so i came here the label you see as i labeled it shows label online label online then the same color the same font so i use the same color the same font for everything on this windows form even the other windows forms so we have started with the server so the chart is the same for this one it has no yeah the name yeah that's all and this is the list box the name was this box one as you see mm. so with the content menu strip so when you want to add when you want okay i'll show you after after this so this is the list box then the text text box which is I gave it a name text receive 
text ara ivi which is here let me show you it is here then we move that's all that's all then this one is a text input text p input for sending messages via the side to, to the clients mm, so and here down i press the context menu strip so the context menu strip as you see when you click here it comes here up so it brings i name this place to this connect let me i don't know why yeah you can rename it disconnect uh-huh yeah it comes you can put any just mine was disconnect so after putting this i i needed to make this text box active so that it can it can deal with the disconnect users disconnected users so you come to the text box uh, to the list box and go to the context menu strip which is here then you put the context menu strip after putting this it will come here yeah yeah it will come there so it's, a, it's somehow hard but not too hard but it is the same here selected text changed you can place you can do everything as you see it here for for your going to, for your chat room to work i have no much to explain because i've seen you guys reading so hard to get here but i made it for you so i even put some sample codes for your review like i put it on your for your review as you keep on subscribing and going in for more so let's dig in for the code within the windows within the server form here come here the code mm -hmm. it comes let me go the starting point so i use this you i use material skin material skin controller system system collection collection and genetic then component model data data drawing input output link we uh, net net and sockets runtime central design format for conversion converting text sliding sliding and text set, then windows form and the xylem singularizer so as my my name space was tell me server and the class was server but material design is especially for designing the color of the layout so instead of using material design you guys you can move this this material design and you can move this material form and put form only but after putting this form make sure anything having material design can be highlighted let me show you can be put to so all these are material design all these are material design let me let me, let me put your form So let me go back to design and the check out to see. So it changes. It changes. After moving material design, it changes as you see. It changed. So these codes are mainly for designing the Windows form in a better way you can convince somebody by colors. So let's move this and put it back make our form look nice this first one is a comment
so I press the uh, right there so public read only material design that's one I will not explain you have you at least you know what material design is you can go Google material design and material skin you see in the Windows form or in, for Visual Basic and you see how material design is can be used in any part of color you can use any color so this is the TCP listener equals to new TCP listener IP dot phase IP address dot phase then the IP address and the port number so TCP client dash client we declare client then the string client number then dictionary string TCP client client list equals to new dictionary string TCP client so cancellation token source the cancellation because new cancellation token source declaration so list string chat equals to new list string chat so as you see we have three references here so if you are doing this make sure your project has this the references which are here should be the same with the reference to the project so we are going to do again slowly by slowly so public server we initialize the components to slow this is material design as you see the comments adding the management the form then you configure the colors which are here blue gray blue gray and light blue and the public start button for the button let me show you for this button public start button cancellation equals to new cancellation token here we set reset the token when the server restarts and starts the server then public void update iui so i gave it this one a name and a string which is m so this to invoke and direct to write the received data text receipt dot appending is equal to so we can we can choose as i'm using windows 10 219 you can this this tick it came from the keyboard for windows 10 to 19 let me show you let me show you windows 10 to 19 how good it is like you can even put emoji I don't know. Okay. You can put emoji. So I decided to use this thing. As, okay. This, this. Then you can copy. And place them here. As you see they come so let's not destroy our project and do something we're supposed to do so public start public asynchronize void start server listen update your start server that count i'm moving so slowly so that you guys can understand name all this all the comments are there i have no much to explain but look at the comments and check out how to do your things i hope you subscribe to my channel and you get more 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 of this this is not i can i have much for you guys to do around so we move public or references as you see they, they should be at the same references with your project it is there there it's there so uh, I'm going to up, I'm going to place I'm going to upload the project not the same as mine but it is the same but different color schemes so the other one was in Windows form this one has some material design so I'm going to give you the one without material design for you guys to make it at your good at your own good you can make your different colors than mine mine i'm seeing them they are good but not good at all anymore 
so let's dig in slowly slowly so and i'm using visual basic 2015 even 12 can be used for this project okay slowly slowly uh, find the client by the username in dictionary okay mm, public point socket then the private chat find yeah it's find the client by username dictionary yeah it is there public text change I showed you that one it's using text this is the server side guys and button start so it's also the same find the client by the client by using dictionary you stream stm is equal to work worker socket get stream then stream right then stream fresh and chat dot clear so button stop yeah as you see project is done so let me try to run let me go to the project for the project pro programs yes so this one should be the same as the one it should be the same so these things I, I would have moved them but let me leave them because some people may attempt to hide things more than uh, more than I have done this so this is part of it so nothing else with the programs these things will configure themselves so let me check the reference yeah reference we have material skin material skin everything is there for material skin as long as you add it and let me tell you how to add material skin to your project you just right click after downloading it from the NuGet browser manage packages first of all let me show you how to download it so you search it via installed mine is already installed but you browse it and you install it install I installed both of them because I needed to use both of them because I, I never wanted to use but at least it's good for me to decide so this is from github you can go to github and search for material design and download the packages for material design so in material design people we normally use find there some large pop samples so for application to look more more good and visible to clients material design is the best way to kick it out for windows applications so let's go back to the server and that and at least run the server to show you how it works so let me run the server debug start new instance Don't forget this the context menu. Technical low taking too long too long. Yeah. I don't know why it took me too long. Anyway, so, yeah. so this is the server already running. Let me put this one in the background. The server already running. So clients online chat you the chat will be he come here, will come here. So I can start the server. As you see, it has started at that port, the one I put placed in my programs. 
and it's waiting for clients so I can start to stop it stops so let's go back to the project and take you through the client side let me end oh I needed to show you this yeah this one in particular the context main script which is context main strip let me show the reference first of all this is the reference fire for the designer it is there context main strip everything should be good as you see make sure i use visual studio 15 mostly and the other application the other program i'm going to upload for you it is for visual studio 12 so it's good so all this should be in your code for your thing to work okay let's end this and wait for the client